Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on the chat and today we are going to talk about the reason why we wake up and you can wonder what is it? Money, I'm going to talk about money today. Everyone wants to get more money and let's see what exactly money is and how much money is in the world. And the first question as always is what is money? Money is any item or verifiable record that is generally acceptable as payment for goods and services and repayment of debts such as taxes in particular country or socio-economic context. The main functions of money are distinguished as a medium of exchange, a unity of account, a store of value and sometimes a standard of deferred payment. Any item or verifiable record that fulfills these functions can be considered as money. The word money derives from the Latin word moneta with the meaning of coin. Via French, monnaie, the Latin word is believed to originate from a temple of Juno on Capitolone, one of Rome's seven hills. In the ancient world, Juno was often associated with money. The temple of Giorno Moneta at Rome was the place where the mint of ancient Rome was located. The name Juno may have derived from the Etruscan goddess Uni, which means one, unique, unity, union, or united. And Moneta, either the Latin word moner, remind, one, or instruct, or the Greek word moneres, alone or unique. What are the four types of money? The four different types of money are classified by the economists and these are the four types. The first one, commercial money, describes the portion of a currency which is made of book money that generated by commercial banks. It is the opposite of the term central bank money, base money or sovereign money which donate legal tender issued by a central bank or monetary authority. The second type is fiduciary money. Fiduciary money refers to money backed up by trust between the payer and payee. Example, checks are fiduciary money as these are accepted as means of payment on the basis of trust but not on the basis of any order of the government. Fiat money. The term is derived from the Latin word fiat which means a determination by authority. Fiat money is a government-issued currency that is not backed by a commodity such as gold. Fiat money gives central banks greater control over the economy because they can control how much money is printed. Most modern paper currencies such as the US dollar are fiat currencies. The fourth is commodity money. Money whose value comes from a commodity of which it is made is known as commodity money. A commodity is a physical item that is readily interchangeable with another item of the same type. Commodity money consists of objects having value or use in themselves as well as their value in buying goods. Nowadays people are busy with things called Bitcoin. You can ask yourself, where well, bitcoins are classified in these different types of money. Is bitcoin a commodity? Yes, virtual currencies such as bitcoin have been determined to be commodities under the Commodity Exchange Act, CEA in abbreviation. And the other question that raises from that is the properties of money. What are the properties of money? To fulfill its various functions, money must have certain properties and here are the properties fungibility its individual units must be capable of mutual substitution for example interchangeability and second property is durability able to withstand repeated use the other one is divisibility divisible to small units portability is another property easily carried and transported. And the other one is cognizability. Its value must be easily identified, of course. 
And the last one is scarcity. Its supply in circulation must be limited. After hearing this, you can ask yourself different questions like, mm, what happens if you print too much money? How can it be dangerous? If the government prints too much money, people will sell things for money, raise the prices for their goods. How can it be dangerous? If the government prints too much money, people who sell things for money raise the prices for their goods, services and labor. This lowers the purchasing power and value of the money being printed. In fact, if the government prints too much money, the money becomes worthless. And the second question is, which country printed too much money? Zimbabwe. Banknotes ranging from $10 to $100 billion printed within a one-year period. Hmm. The magnitude of the currency scores signifies the extent of hyperinflation. How much money is in the world? Hmm. Another cool question. 2021 edition, there is approximately 40 trillion US dollars in circulation. This includes all the physical money and the money deposited in savings and checking accounts. Money in the form of investments, derivatives and cryptocurrencies exceeds 1.3 quadrillion US dollars. And the other good question that raises is how much money moves every day? as we know that money circulates. The foreign exchange market is the most actively traded market in the world. More than 5 trillion US dollars are traded on average every day. And you know what? Are you guys watching? I wish you to have more, more, more and more money. So that's what I had for you today. And as I said, I wish you all to have more and more money. But do not forget to subscribe like to share and to share with us your ideas and giving us some suggestions telling us what we can talk about the next time in that comment section god bless you see you next time and this was the chirp <laughs>